now. Hi, welcome to Rolls to Astonish again. This is the first in a new series that we're trying to do, where we're going to show off, uh, we're going to have devs, developers of various tabletop games come on to the show and uh, run a game for us to show off their new systems or upcoming systems. Uh, for, first off, first uh, one for this show today is Jeff McClinsky of Strange Machine Games. He's showing off a new system called an upcoming system coming to Kickstarter soon called Super Age. Uh, I am Stephen Knoll. I'm playing a character named Zira, who is a she-devil and specialist in dark magic. With me today, I have Evan. Hello, I'm Evan. I'm playing Arcanon. Uh, he's a bit of like a really screwed up looking guy with a lot of machines on him. <laughs> and uh, we also have Will with us today. My name is Will, and I'm playing the Neptunian. An alien from you'll never guess which planet, and Close. attacks using shape-shifting and psionic power. All right, and last but not least, with us today is our GM and developer, Jeff McClinsky. Hey, hi there. Uh, Jeff also Jeff also has developed a system called Age Past, the Ancient Sphere. I would highly recommend checking that out. It's a cool system and a lot of fun f for fantasy lovers. So, uh, let's get into it. We sort great, of just great. went over how um, the game plays before this, so we're going to just sort of jump into gameplay and sort of show how this game runs in, uh, in, the, in the wild. <laughs> And Steve, if you get a sec, could you throw some um, little peeps up here and uh, uh, just some circles um, just yeah. for placement? Yeah, I'll throw, I'll throw so some nice up here. Yeah, so generally uh, with H Pass, because you have heroes that can move basically across the planet in one turn, and you have heroes that can basically just move a block in one turn, placement for, uh, for you know, combat situation. So we don't really say that. It's basically it's made up of rings, inner and out of rings. And if you're in the inner ring, you're basically, you know, some feet or yards apart. And if you're you know, in the outer ring, you could be miles or even off the planet. Great. Um, okay, Zira, Arcanon, Neptunus. You are sitting at League Headquarters. You have been called there with the League, with the, the head of the League named Infinia. Infinia is an alien. She is very powerful. Um... In fact, you probably would say that she is the most powerful uh, hero that you know of. She's the big powerful. <laughs> is, um, One might yes. say that she is super powerful. <laughs> Almost um, super powered. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> Rollicking good start to this he's, game. <laughs> he's, a, he's the symbol of, of San Martin, which is super superhero city, which uh, lies just north of um, San Francisco on the West Coast by the Redwoods, and the League is also seen as sort of helping to bring in the, the, the new golden age of, of San Martin in the world, really. Um, but along with the rise of supers have come supervillains, and things are starting to take a turn for the worse. Okay. So who here has affiliations with the League? Uh, I believe I, I believe I do. Um, I believe Zira. Ha yes, Zira. No, no, she does not. Never mind. <laughs> she has I, with Dark uh, Gregory, Gregory just... and the Void. Neptunus uh, joined the league and is a senior member. How many points does Neptunus have in league? Uh, two. Uh, what's your character's name it's again? Like, yeah. So Arcanon. if you have one point and in, in your affiliation, you're sort of known. By by the by that organization, and there are several organizations. I think there's uh, about ten. Yeah, so two means that you are like an affiliate, right? Um, a, may, not even a junior member, because it takes three points to become that. But you're known by the league and sort of trusted. Um, like if you were to jump into a fight, they wouldn't tell you to go away. They'd be like, "Yeah, sure, come help out." Whereas you know, meteor, they might they might sort of. Um, get wary about why this person is, is joining in. So, um, Nia is talking about 
league membership and you have all expressed interest in doing in doing um out there <laughs> uh you've all expressed interest in joining the league Neptunus, you've actually worked with them some. Zira, well, you're sort of an un, uh, otherworldly uh, demon seductress. Yeah. <laughs> and you're kind of like a mercenary. But, uh, you know, recent events have turned you to, to wanting to work together more in teams. I suppose I can work with these handsome yeah. gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I could be persuaded. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Neptunus gives you a wary side eye. Okay, just, just stand in there. Zira, Zira just sort of smi gives this like sultry smile at him that is worry simultaneously alluring and worrying. <laughs> so Nep uh, Neptunus he just uh, makes his head tentacles grow a bit more noticeable and grows two extra arms. Hey man. Well, he's pretty excited. Hey, oh yeah. <laughs> hey Damn man, whatever you're into. <laughs> so, um, now Neptunus, you have the ability to like read minds. Do you have any mental abilities or anything? All right, you should have control over all the tokens there, Jeff. Hey. <laughs> all right, so we got okay, Neptunus, Zira, Arcanon. I love it. This is great. And then one more for you. I just saw that. Some good stuff up there, yeah. Yeah, I just, I just start throwing whatever I had in my library on the wall. <laughs> All right, let's do this. So, Tuna, what's did you, the mission? Did you, uh, so, yeah, did you, uh, so if you have any sort of like minor reading abilities, you could sort of look to see if these people, you know, maybe it's a motive. You can sort of mentally delve into their into their minds. Uh, our cannon's mind, yes. I think. Uh, do I have that? Let's see. Um, 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 shit. Sorry. Oh, no, no, I don't seem to have that. What? <laughs> yep. <laughs> what? <laughs> the guy so. with psionic powers doesn't even know how to read minds? What? <laughs> Man. Mental blast, mental shield, and psychology. Psychology is kind of like. I mean, more than it, and I want to know about you. Well, I mean, I can't. I so, can't um, just standing there. You could use your, you could use your uh, base aspects under your knowledge to into it to like look at cues. So it's basically like, you know, into it, into it motive or something like that. If you have a power, um, that lets you like mind force, right? Which is lets you look into someone's mind or lets you connect your your uh, party members together and you can telepathically communicate with people. There's like a mental- I don't have mind force. I have illusionist. Okay, so you can make illusions. That's, I guess, cool. All right. I guess so that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Just sandbag <laughs> this, this poor guy. <laughs> right if you have rank three, three, like mini worlds. And stuff the the character the, the powers sort of rank up very quickly. Rank one power is like a taste of it. Two is pretty solid. Like you you know you're known for this, but rank three is you're one of the best like in the world at this. And I so when you take three, <laughs> yeah, you can take that thing. It's like it's like uh it's like a quarter mile or something and turn it into a you know a, an illusionary you know like turn it into like a jungle or something. Oh, Chris, oh, that's, that's pretty cool. You are the hollow deck. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. It's basically like a hollow deck. Yeah. Um, all right. So Infinia says, "Okay, uh, we have a very simple job. It's an escort mission." Oh boy, escort missions. Those never. We're getting go wrong. a yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's simple. It's simple. Trust. Yeah. No, it, nothing should go wrong. Um, coming in tonight meant um, coming into docks. And we are going to take possession of the shipment, and it needs to be delivered to the um, detention center. Right, so that's basically super prison. Okay, super jail. Oh, no. Super jail. Hey, we're going to super jail. We're going to super jail, guys. Let's and go she with says, the warden. "She says this is a simple mission. You'll have backup, solar kiss, and the sergeant will be there." So they should be handling everything, and you're only to get involved if 
happens. All right, glad to glad to know where uh, we where we stand in this whole organization and how well uh, we're regarded here. <laughs> and how's the pay? Uh, the pay? <laughs> yes. Do you, there is do you, pay. Uh, is there not? I believe you uh, offer stipends based on your rank, <laughs> but um, no no hero should be joining for any type of currency. Most of our senior members don't even don't even uh, they either donate or don't even accept the payment for uh, from the organization. Arcanon uh, seems visibly disgusted. <laughs> Arcanon, are you are you sure you are in the right business? Like at all? Are you sure? <laughs> Very sure. You seem. You seem like you're not choosing character, by the way. You seem like you're not quite clear on how this whole hero thing works. All right, show up at eleven thirty. Help with the package. Get it there by morning. Talk seriously about your uh, your future. All right. Um, Very well then. Sounds she good. gives everybody a league um, communication device. Okay. So that you okay. are able to communicate uh, to League Headquarters. Okay. Always listening. Always listening. <laughs> always listening. They're always there for okay. you. Okay. Neptunus immediately looks at it to see if he can change the ringtone. Uh, sure. Yeah. yeah. He, Neptunus changes, attempts to change it to something cool. <laughs> the, Neptunus attempts zero. to change it. Zero, zero, zero uses Jinx to to make him change it to ac make him accidentally change it to Rick Astley's never gonna give you up. Okay, uh, so <laughs> Jinx is right. Jinx Quite is what I was going for, for, but good enough. <laughs> Arcanon, I want to. Arcanon is going to uh, see if he can make it so it's not always listening. <laughs> um. Okay. So why don't you guys roll? Whoever rolls better gets what they want, assuming it's enough. All right. Uh, what would we be rolling there? Knowledge or you'd have to? Yeah, knowledge is basically the things you know. So, this so unless there's my, a way. So, so this would be like my force, dark magic. If you, if you, so you can use what. What you need to do is you need to um, either overpower the communication device, mm -hmm. or you would need to counter it. You know, counter it. So basically. Um, I'm okay with like universal role. You can kind of pick and choose what, what you want. Just it has to make sense. Yeah, it says this is like it provides one jinx. Oh, you know what? Never mind. Uh -huh. This isn't. This seems like a waste. So I'm not. So, I'm not gonna do that unless it's like I wouldn't have to spend a jinx point to do this, right? It'll recharge. Like it's it's oh. part of your magic user stuff if you want to. Oh, okay. So yeah, I'll just. I'll All right. Just do that. So uh, do I roll? 2d6 and add 2, or is it, um... Um, let me, I don't have your character sheet in front of me. So, so tell me the aspects you're using. Academics, too. So we'll roll, take your knowledge and add your aspect and roll it all. 46? 46, yeah. So I'm, do, I'm doing, like, Force 3, uh, Dark Magic 2, I guess. Yeah. I'm probably going to lose this one. Yay! So that means I roll five die. William. Yeah, you roll five, yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh. Gets four. Tell me this, this doesn't work under explosion. Never mind, I lose anyway. <laughs> I don't. Six, six gives you two successes. So um, William got one, Stephen got Stephen got three. So that means that you get the one, you get the success needed, but you also get, um, so you subtract one, uh, you sub William subtracts one from Stephen because Stephen won. So that means Steven has three successes. One success goes... Hey, hang on. Um, a four... Oh, yeah, one success. I, I get it. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I that pushes me up into yeah. advantage. So you you um, basically have, yeah, five successes. So you have three... Um, you have three overkills. You need one of those. So, um, yeah. So you get an advantage. So you can do something else as well. So we're going to make that Rick, instead of just Rick Astley's never going to give you up, it's Rick Astley's never going to give you up, except it's in a minor key as well. <laughs> it's kind of stuck that way. It just, <laughs> it's stuck like that. It's, it's, just, it's just stuck like that. You can't figure out how to change it. Change it, it's just like, it's just, yeah. Oh, damn. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> get used to that one. <laughs> it's time to call you. Oh, yeah. Cue, cue that up, uh, uh, YouTube or whatever. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll see if I can find that. Oh, no. I'm going to see if I can find that now. I'll just I'll just cue it up in Nar, with NAR in the Discord. <laughs> So, We're going to um, say it's about noon. You had this meeting at, with Infinity at noon. So you have about 12 hours of stuff to do. So we're going to break this up into um, three, four hour increments. So you can tell me what you want to do over those increments and specify how, um, um, you know, what, what you're using. Overpower, defend, counter, assi uh, interact, or assist. Because no matter what time increment you're on, you're always doing one of these five things. Right. Also, this is this is not quite it, but it's close. Vocals are a half step out of key. <laughs> I'll let that play. Anyway, uh, go, go uh, on, Jeff. No one's actually calling on you. You save it for when the comms happen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. So, um, I'm going to go around and see if I can find somebody that will, you know, knows okay. anything about this cargo that's coming in. So, yeah. um, so that would be an interact action, right? You're interacting with the world. Yeah. Um, what, yeah. And what, uh, um, how do you go about doing this? Oh uh, shit. Let me see. Uh, I'm going to go through around this with, uh, I guess knowledge, even though that's my lowest stat. And you got some other stuff, right? What do you have knowledge in? Uh, tactics. So wait, what, what were okay. we... Sorry, I was trying to get, get that song. What were we like... doing? So if I... Uh, well, okay, so you guys have three, four hour increments to do things. Okay. So um, Arcanon, I believe, is looking... He's uh, he's looking to um, to find information about the shipment. Oh, okay. About how, how he's going about that. Uh, so if I'm rolling tactics or something like that, would I roll the two? If I go to two, so you one? always roll your heroic trait. All right. So that trait, and then you always roll all the aspects. You can choose any and all aspects you want. Um, so in this case, you know you would choose your the aspects under your knowledge. Um, I don't know how much tactics is going to help you. You'd have to talk to military people, right? Tactics is like your ability to you know be tactical, have some tactical knowledge. You know, combat type stuff. What other kind of uh, knowledge do you have? Uh, that's all. That's all the knowledge I have. Uh, okay, but you also have other things, right? You have affiliations, right? Affiliations. Would that be under the teams? Uh, the teams. Yep. Yep. So uh, I'm. I got a rank one in vigilantes. They seem like they may know something about this. So use all these aspects of your character, right? The the affiliations, the teams affiliations that they have, uh, your arc, and what's your archetype specifically say? Archetype is uh, gear mutation. Okay. All right. So yeah, go ahead and roll your two. All right. So that's two d six. Can um you can roll you can roll your tactics too because if you're talking to vigilantes, I think that'll be. All right. So that's four d six. Four d six. Yeah. All right, uh, you didn't get any successes. It wasn't a, uh, it wasn't a, uh, there wasn't any negative sex successes applied. There isn't any kind, any kind of like fumble. All right. If you're doing open heart surgery right there, you would have like, you know, your guy be bleeding out or something. You would have had a problem. That's, problem. that's true. All right, cool. Uh, well, let's give somebody else a chance here. So you get, you can, you can try again because I said you got, you know, twelve hours of time. So what about your the other guys here? I'm gonna g scout the route that we're taking, that we're supposed to be taking the package to see if there's any like blind spots, vantage points, things that would be useful for knowing about uh, on the way where people might either be set up or where we can uh, set someone up to uh, intercept problems. So, okay, so you are, uh, I'll explain it out. You're picking, um, picking this package up at the docks, escorting it through the city out of the city, up through um, some rural areas, and eventually into like a desert, a high, a high, a desert highland. Okay. It's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. The whole trip is about takes about uh, three hours to do. Right. So how are you scouting out the area? 
Uh, I guess I'll just sort of, like, drive the route, I guess. <laughs> and, like, you know, it's, sort of, like, look for, look for any place that might be suspicious or that might be, like, a good place for an ambush so we can be properly prepared, etc. Things like that. So it sounds like you would do... So do you have any kind of knowledge to support that? I have guile. So you two guys should have been... So do just... you either work together, right? This is where the teamwork of this game comes in because no, no one's. So um, you're also like a interplanet, interdimensional seductress that can teleport and stuff. Yeah. So <laughs> that's not exactly my forte. <laughs> well, no, no, it's fine. I like the idea. I'm not saying your idea is bad, or I'm not saying your character can't pull off the idea. I'm just saying, like, you know, you're you're like you're hopping in, like you're this like interdimensional demon seductress. You're gonna hop in the car and just like drive the routes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's 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 my that's my. <laughs> okay. I don't I don't actually see a problem with that. Why can't Steve do that? <laughs> um, okay, so so um, one thing about Super Age is that everybody has basic transportation. So let's say you're a paranoid investigator. Right, you just happen to show up right on time, because you are listening to the radios. You're you're reading, you know, paranoia, cult, you know, occult like websites, and you just happen to get there. If you're like a super spy, you know, you got your motorcycle, your car, your jet, or whatever the super spy gets. If you're you know, interdimensional uh, teleporting demoness, you can just basically walk into the nether zone and then pop out somewhere else. Yeah, <laughs> have this capability to just have some basic transportation. Actually, wait, so no, even I, don't you... even, I don't even need to walk it, I realize. I have magic. I could just do, like, some sort of clairvoyancy thing or something. Just w look the route and look for any right. blind spots or... Okay, that sounds good. Why don't you uh, tell me what you're doing. Think about it, roll it up. Um, William, tell me what you're doing. Okay, what I'm doing is uh, I'm going on to Google and... Uh, various sorts of organized crime that exist at the docks. Seems like an okay. obvious Google organized crime. Google, Google organized crime. crime. Where's yeah. the mafia in my area? <laughs> well, remember, this is the future too, so this is your future Google. <laughs> this is super Google. <laughs> uh, do I have access to? Uh, do I have access to League or Astrolabs databases? <laughs> he's, he's, Access to mob.org <laughs> for all your mafia needs. Uh, use the internet to hack and stuff. What do you what kind of um, capabilities have there? League two uh, League affiliation two and Astrolabs one. Does that give me anything? So so Astrolabs is like they're the main science development place. They work with supers and extraterrestrials and things like that. Um, you could go to Astro Labs, but you're kind of already at the league, so you could just ask to use their systems, and they would probably let you so, access. But yeah. So is that team with the league two? Is that uh, two dice on the check, or that's that gives you access? That's not a, that's not a straight mechanical thing. Um, it's it's like the, how much they like you basically and how much you're involved with the organization so at level two you're kind of like you know you're kind of a trusted you're a trusted not member three but you're like a trusted affiliate trust you they'll give you access to their computer yeah they're not bonus or is that just uh giving me some database um, that might reasonably have what i want to know I think it's it's not really gonna give you a bonus, but it's gonna let you be more effective than using Google. Now, granted, if, if you had higher level access, if you're like a full fledged member, league help you. They kind of you know they they would kind of act as like support. It's just knowledge and academics. That would work. Anything else you have in your knowledge that might help could work. Well. You are limited in your uh, aspects a little bit. So the characters that are built for combat are usually really good at combat, but you aren't usually good at like Googling things. So it really emphasizes the team aspect of, of it. Like you see in the comics and stuff, if, if you or the TV shows, if you have a group of just brawlers, then like, you know, in the TV show. So. All right. Uh, so give me a roll. 
successes. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, you're on, you're able to under, uh, uncover that there is a, some illicit um, through the docs to um, be, a, be associated with the um, um, uh, team, I guess it's like a it's like a faction. Oh. Okay, so supers patrolling and the smuggling has been sort of pretty low. Um, there has been an increase recently, though it's been increasing a little bit. Corporation has been doing illicit things near the docks, but he kicked up a bit. Good. All right. Okay. okay. Next. Uh, next action. Next uh, time increment. What do you guys? Uh, what are you guys doing? So you got your your scrying here. What was your role? Um, okay, let me let me roll that real quick. So that would just be okay. knowledge magic. That's all I get for magic, and that's your ability too. But you also, have um, yeah. Plus you have spells and stuff. Well, yeah, so well, can... yeah. That's just that's just a power though. So I wasn't sure how that factors in. Um, I have spellcaster two, which allows me to. Uh, I think I think it would give you ability to scry. It gives right? it allows me to produce an equivalent an effect equivalent to a rank one run one power granted. I rank yeah. At rank two, the hero can produce an effect equivalent to a rank one power, provided he has minutes to cast the spell. What's cool about spell casting? It lets you do anything. It just lets you do it a little weaker than other people can yeah. do it. So yeah, so it's sort of scrying for <laughs> magic. Your ability to control your magic. So, so that'll be three d six. Then it don't have much going for it. <laughs> oh, but oh, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> like a magical, oh, you're a magical base a mage based person you automatically get one success oh from really cool then yeah anytime you do anything based on your archetype you get one success and that's to help to drive the story forward oh cool so yeah, that's there how, you go that's that's, that's five successes <laughs> so you uh, you know like in your mind you have sort of basically taken the equivalent of like google maps the route magically and now you know you have basically Google Maps in your head, but <laughs> Google but, Maps in my head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Google Maps in your head from ma a magic standpoint. And in fact, you have set up wards Ooh. that will alert you and allow you to see if there are um, certain like pr magical presences. Okay, so not not just like mundane presences, but if anything magical tries to come after us, they'll trip like an alarm in my brain. I mean, how's like a guy in like his pickup pickup truck with a shotgun? Like, how's that? You know, that that won't necessarily set set off. But you can scry at any point you want. You just have to concentrate into it. So basically, okay. you're completely you're yeah you're completely um, integrated with that. All right, cool. With that, uh, yeah. Excellent. So what did our I forget what did our cannon do? I was looking around seeing uh, if there's anything getting what it was all getting shipped in. Yeah. Did you but, uncover? I'm uh, making a text document for that. Oh no! I uncovered absolutely nothing. <laughs> I'm but that's okay. To, I guess first, if we're moving on to second actions, I guess I'm going to use like my seductive wiles to try to <laughs> get more information. I guess about I'll figure out what it is. So someone, I, uh, I'll try to figure out something to ask about. But I'm sure I can use something my seductive abilities for something. Um, uh, do do the communicators let me? Uh, Send a quick uh, overview of what I found to the other two. Absolutely, and you can send emails or like you know, whatever, whatever. It's just basically like little computers. I uh, tell them. The I tell the two teammates that uh, that I've that the corporation's been doing things around the docks, and we might need to watch out for that. Anything? Uh, I'm not going to send a reply. I'm just going to you know read it. <laughs> just delete it. Just, I'll just read the message and then leave him on red. And his uh, little communicator did ring, though. FYI. Hey, um, mine didn't. I was sending it. But Stevens did. So what? Um, what about me? 
Right, so it's up to you if you, you guys want to get text message and... saying we might need to watch out for the corporation near the docks. Well, while I'm with the vigilantes, I'm going to try and see if I can get any of their help just finding a way to disable any trackers or listening devices on the little communication device I got. Okay. Uh, that might be hard. That's leak tech. Um, uh, is there... What are you gonna? How, how do you? Okay, so that's what you want to do. Think about how you want to do it, Stephen, William. What, what about you two guys? What do you want to do? Um, I'm going question. to try. Uh, uh, hmm. Like, I'm trying. Like, I'm trying to think, think of people who I like, could ask, like, weasel some information out of, like that. I mean, it's a straight up escort mission, but if we don't know who might be coming after us, actually, did did we find anything? We didn't find anything out about what the cargo is, did we? You could. There's still time. You know, I'm going to try to find out what the cargo is. I'm going to try, kind of try to use my womanly wiles to try to. We started on that easily. thread, but but kind of gave up on it. I think. Um, you guys also would probably be best working together. Yeah, I'm going to try. I'm going to try to use my womanly wiles to try to weasel some information out of someone um, that might know more about it. Um, do we know like who is passing off? Like who might? Do I know who might? know something about this that's like I could ask or seduce <laughs> oh right so um, you know you have about like, what? oh great we got a demonic shandy yep. yeah these ships and stuff coming in should be logged in a system right okay or you know um, uh, you know that uh, the sergeant and solar kiss are supposed to be there to uh, to support this yeah um so I could just find some nerd boy who would have access to those <laughs> databases and uh, get yeah. him to see if he can pull something up for sweet little old me. I uh, took a uh, really long time, so that's going to be two. So this will be your last one. All right, that's fine. Uh, okay, so that will be four D6s. That's fine. Oh, um, two uh, successes. Right. Yay. <laughs> so, um, you guys can also help Assisting is you would roll something that would help, but you roll half your pool. And after you roll half your pool, any successes you get, you grant to the, the primary uh, action taker. Uh, so this is his third action? Yeah, um, this is his third, yeah. So uh, does that mean that... Uh, third act... If I assist Steve by... Uh, oh, God damn it. I'm going to... By turning into one yeah. woman... Out uh, with the seducing thing, would would that be my third action or my second? Because you haven't done anything else yet. Okay, I think I'm. Let's let's see what I can do. Uh, what role did we say Stephen was doing? Um, Steve's trying to, he's basically going to find um, some nerd with a computer and seduce them into the information. <laughs> well, he, you could help him by finding, like, you could say, hey, I want to assist him by finding that nerd. You know, like, <laughs> here's the where's nerd. that guy located? <laughs> here's the nerd. Now use your boobies to get Okay, uh, find <laughs> <laughs> So, what's the rule for finding a nerd? <laughs> Just, you know, use your skills and, and you know, say what you want to do. Yeah, well, just, just, uh, just, just, just abstract. Yeah, you don't have to be super discreet. Yeah, just abstract it all out. Yeah, yeah. And basically come up with good ideas and roll, roll some dice and that's you know, how it works. Uh, would I be able to do switch I, my action? For do I knowledge academics uh, using my affiliation with the league or something? I want to do it. So don't don't throw the stats at me. Don't say I have these abilities. Say this is what I want to do, and this is how I'm supporting what I want to do. Yeah, that's how you gotta do it. Uh, I know. I think I'd know about how the league hierarchy works and about who Steven should be trying to thing this on. with the league, and because I know a bit about how the league is set up, would that be knowledge academics? Yeah, you can go ahead and roll that. Four D six. Didn't help much. 
Yeah, it's okay, so you had, you had some trouble there. All right, uh, Steve, so you're not getting much help finding nerds, um, but you know you can still make your roll. And, All right, well, I made um, the roll. Like I, I said, uh, I got the six. <laughs> That's about it. What are you doing? So um, could I switch up my action to assist him as well? Get in here, yeah. So what are, what are you doing? So while they're sitting there, like, you know, distracting and seducing these nerds, I'm going to <laughs> try and use my stealth to, you know, sneak in. Sneak in, seeing if I can actually just find any manifests or anything of that. Roll it up. All right. And so would I be able to put... So stealth 2, would that be two dice? So, you yeah, that plus you have knowledge, plus you have tactics. You could use all that. All right. Would I be able to put movement in there? Movement's literally just how far you move. Oh, okay then. Never mind. That's... You're like a sneaky, stealthy guy. I'm giving you a success anyway, and Steve, you get an extra success because you're doing seducy stuff. Yay. Yay. Then I'm up to... Whoa. Crazy. Yeah. So um, you guys move move up on the docks, and you find basically like a warehouse looking thing that's a couple stories tall and in it is a control center right the calls are coming in um got the computer banks and the screens and everything that exactly that yeah and then there is like there is a uh like the front desk uh just sort of like checking people's badges and stuff so while zira you know gets sexy what do you what do you say zero to, to this this person behind the desk <laughs> just gonna be like hey nerd <laughs> hey hey there hey there big boy yeah you know i'm just a little i'm a little lost with the uh mm, with uh knowing knowing my way around here could you, could you would you mind helping me maybe with finding a little bit of information that might be fairly helpful with this uh, mission I've got going on. Right. So as you do that, our cannon basically contorts his body into like a scorpion spider centipede <laughs> thing. <laughs> Just crab walk. Just basically, yeah, crab walk. Slot down in Zoidberg. <laughs> and pops out. Or can you basically can grab, you can uh, interface into the computers um, if you want. Nothing's really like super hackable like uh, nothing's really super protected um, not from inside anyway and there's also some books so yeah you, you get access to it um do i have to roll anything for this or do i just look through that's what your roll did all right so i'm just going to look through for anything of note on this shipping like anything that spots that points out is just completely out of the ordinary and anything excessively valuable all right um you don't notice anything valuable, but you notice the exact yeah. opposite. You notice something that isn't valuable, that has no cargo, like, creation at all. Hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to take a copy of whatever file has that or whatever book has that. And just skeet on out of there. So you guys get out of there. Um, what do you do about the what do you do, what do you do about the nerd, Steve? Do you uh -huh. give do you make sweet sweet demon love to him? <laughs> no, I just start giving him a little kiss on the cheek and then leave. <laughs> just memory wipe, memory wipe uh, spell. <laughs> as soon as yeah, uh, just a quick memory wipe spell. My character uh, realized he wasn't helping much. He just got out of there and caught up on game and uh, watched an episode of Game of Thrones. Skeet skeet. <laughs> All right. So does anyone do anything? Want to do anything else before the pickup? You guys have um, a little bit of time. No, I think we, um, I think we got the. Well, at least I've got. I think I got everything I could. could I want to see if I can do anything else at least. I want to try and use the, um, you know, my intuitiveness and my tactics, and my vigilante contacts, as well as my utility gadgets. I want to spend one of those points on trying to just jam any sort of tracking on this device. Um, yeah, go ahead. I'm not giving up. So right. your gadget, your gadget is um, that's going to give you one automatic success. So I'm going to say you need three to do it. 
I mean, uh, you could just break it. That would stop it from working. But to do it so where it doesn't look like you tampered with it, you need three. All right. And then believe that's it, I believe in knowledge, you, Evan. tactics, and intuitive. Believe in you. You could do it. Believe in the heart of the cards. Believe in the oh. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> they betrayed me. Well, that's because you're believing in the heart of the cards when you're clearly rolling dice. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, you got to believe in the heart of... Well, this is electronic dice. It's not even real dice. Yeah, you got to believe in the heart of the roll 20. You got to believe in the heart yeah. of the server. Um, so, if you want to, you can use a point of luck, and you can re-roll that if you want. All right. I also forgot to add vigilantes on there. And they just give you access to... Yeah. Um, um, you could do it, Evan. You so could do it. <laughs> all right, so is that five? Six, you just got believe. Oh, oh, God. That was, oh, no. <laughs> that was the wrong number. Was that? <laughs> <laughs> That's a, that's a shame. That's a very good roll. That's a really good roll, too. Did I make it? <laughs> uh, to sort of get the thing open, and it's it's a little beyond what at the moment. Ah, uh, shit! I voided the warranty too. Um, you know, you didn't really do much. You got a couple. You got a couple successes. You just missed out on your third. So you know, you don't quite. You don't mess anything up. You don't. But you don't achieve what you want. You just sort of start fiddling, fitting with it, and you just don't have the right person available to you, um, or the right gear, or the right knowledge, or some aspect you fall short with. And um, so you decide to just kind of clamp it back up and just you know go on like nothing ever happened. All right. So it's coming up. Um, um, uh, Neptunus, you had uh, another thing. Would you want to do? I. Uh, how does. Want to do next is uh, just fly up, surveil the route. Or actually, the road or. You can just fly up a mile, a mile up, and uh, look over the route, right? I think I, I th I've already scried this though, so we're we're good. We're good on that. You said that, hey Jeff. You said that'll catch magical things, right? Yeah, that's gonna it's gonna automatically catch anything magical along the route. Uh, and I could drop and describe. You don't have. You don't. Dude, you probably don't have super senses, like supervision. So flying up means you're just looking down at very small things. Yeah. You're pretty much you're pretty much here to be our like uh, Hey, could I use academics to try and uh, hack into the corporation's mainframe or something? Yep. Probably be knowledge and academics. Crash and burn, but let's see. Oh no, it did not crash and burn. It did not crash or burn. Um, you have you can get something out real quick before you get locked out. But I uh, look over. Are they doing anything around midnight? You see something about a, tac a tactical team being deployed to this to this area. Okay, I uh, use the communicator to uh, forward what I found to the team team and say, heads up, we're going to have fun tonight. Uh, I think I also sent it to the sergeant, and who else was here? Forward it to the sergeant and solar kiss. All right. All right. Coming up on, um, it's coming up on... Um... Re retrieval time. Uh, what's everyone doing? I, I'm I'm getting I'm getting all geared up with my with my uh, you know the thigh high boots and <laughs> hero outfit. <laughs> getting ready. Getting check. Doing another check through my scry 
scry eyes to get make sure everything's good and clear and uh, getting ready to go. Yeah, would I get in trouble if I tried to shape shift into uh, what's the super uh, superwoman XP we uh, we were Finia. talking to? What's her name? Depends on what you do with it. Would I, try would I get in trouble if I tried to turn into her and fly? Are you? No. That. I mean, like I said, depends on what you do with it. If you do something that like gives her a bad name or gives the league a bad name, then they're not going to be happy with you. Yeah, so uh, for that. I'm not going to try and give her a bad name. <laughs> I'm kind of banking on her rep to make the corporation think twice. To use my doppelgang power to turn into her and uh, and fly over, make the more weak willed of them say, "Uh oh, maybe we should turn around." Or so, find um, you, but any advantage? And roll that and see. Uh, hopefully, they don't have power. Hopefully, the bad guys don't have power level meters. Or <laughs> hope they don't have scanners to test that you're. <laughs> What's the scouter say? What's the scouter so, say? What, what do you that have? He's um, a weakling. <laughs> I have doppelgang three. Is that is that enough? Or I'm not make your roll or anything. You look and sound like Infinia. You've had enough uh, time around her to duplicate her shape, her voice, and her uh, costume just fine. Nice. If they don't have scouters, yeah. then uh, they're scared, right? And anyone who's watching and has bad intent is scared right now. Hopefully. Hopefully, or, you know. So, um, let's hope no bumble. The ship comes in about 1130. All right. Um, a big box, huge box, like the size of like a SUV. Lowered, um, it's lowered down onto the dock by a crane onto like a powered dolly, um, along with some dock workers. Um, and Solar Kiss is, you. it's night, so she lights up the sky because she is brilliant, um, superheated silicone, so she looks like she's uh, um, like, a, like a person on fire, but she's glowing bright, lighting up the area, uh, flying around doing surveillance. The sergeant um, is looking around. You can, you can tell... Um, Neptunus, that the sergeant is also using his mind to scan the area for trouble. Trouble. So he's see so he's seeing through me like a window right now. Of course. Yeah. He well he knows. I mean, but he's like a full fledged league member, so he's gonna know that the real Infinia. I mean, he's one of the good guys. He's one of the guys you're working with, right? Um, and they kind of pick up on it that you know you're out there doing your thing and you're. You know, you're not a bit shifty. Hey, I yeah. suppose I try to find some place out of sight to change back so that uh, we don't lose the Infinia might be around advan um, psychological advantage. Um, Arcanon, what are you doing? I'm going to check if the shipping container is the same one that was of note from earlier. Uh, Zira? Uh, Zira's just going to, like, uh, I guess just keep keep watching, keep watching, uh, keep the scry up and going, just keep making sure our route's good, keep making sure that we're clear, no trouble around. Prep for a fight if it should come to that. So not, a lot, not much to do quite yet, so she's just going to remain ready at the ready. There you go. All right. Okay. Um... As the container is being, um, it's on a power dolly. It looks like it has a lot of weight. Um, it's being moved into like a cargo truck, okay. but it's, the process is going slow because the dolly, it's like a big powered, like um, forklift kind of thing. <clears throat> when this happens, there is a sudden surface. Mm -hmm. um, a contraption, a sheen. A vessel breaks the breaks the water surface, and um, mechanical noises. And next thing, lasers are being shot 
out from the top. A turret, a turret pops out of the top of this, this vessel, this submersible vessel, and starts shooting. Um, Solar Kiss gets nailed really hard. Water. And you hear a fizzle and pop and steam. Um, oh, there, goes, there goes Solar Kiss. Uh. Oof. Captain Saquon. So from um, just behind the laser turret, a large cylinder is fired up into the air in a high arc, like a mortar, mm -hmm. at, right behind the um, the uh, the car the cargo container. Ends up six sides and six armored um, soldiers. All right. And they're carrying very large, very large weapons. I am teleporting over there, and I am just gonna give them, give them, give them a good time. <laughs> I mean, at this time, a lot for you. At this time, other pods also shoot out into the various air, area, in, into the various surrounding areas. Okay. They appear to be wearing um, helmets, helmets at block with a lot of different sensors on them. The helmets are very lar much larger. They have, they're attached to a backpack that radiates like a, a null effect. Um, Neptunus, you can feel it. You can feel that, that basically you can't... You feel that you... Well, they feel like a dead spot. Like you, they, there's nothing there. Is the area right under their feet a dead spot? The... Under their feet? Well, they themselves are like a dead spot. Like you can't sense them empathically. Oh, uh, last nail in the coffin for any hope that this would be easy. Uh, this is not, let's get let's. I'm getting ready for a fight. Let's let's do this. Just mm. one team starts to take control. They um they engage and shoot at um some of like some of the, like of the security that's there and they're overpowered pretty quickly. They start to take over the um, power loader and start moving it towards the submersible vessel. Um, I'm going to try and take cover near the uh, near this loader on it if possible and just hide. <laughs> Basically, you're, um, you can do one of the few things. You can overpower, defend, counter, interact, or assist. So by saying you're hiding, it sounds like you're saying you want to interact. You want to just watch and see what's going on. Um, more just getting ready to attack in the shadows. Um, well, if you want to attack, you can say you, you know, you're, wait, you're, gonna, you're gonna leap from the shadows and uh, overpower them. I'm going, to, right. I'm going to teleport to... I think I'm going to teleport over to the... Uh, uh, to the power loader and see if I can just like cast a spell to just shut down its internal engines, like just shut down uh, its internal workings, so that they. Okay, have much so you want time. to interact as well. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So what I want to do is basically have you, all you guys tell me one of the five actions you're taking. So I want to use my inter my spells to interact with. Yeah, so spells that interact with the power loader to shut down. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, and Neptunus. Uh, uh, how does a uh, uh, mental blast work? Could I use it sort of like a slap in the face to wake someone up? Mental blast is what it's listed as. Um, <clears throat> it's listed as, yeah, it's under four. So that means literally you make a bolt of mental energy and you shoot it at somebody and you can put holes in walls, that kind of thing. I can't tune that down to just be a slap in the face to wake someone up. I, I don't quite understand what you want to do. Sis, solar kiss and waking up. Oh, trying to heal solar kiss to actually get her conscious again, get her back up and fighting. No, that's not going to work at all. <laughs> so, so, let me, let me bring up a character here and uh, review it real quick. So, um, yeah, so you have basically, when you roll your force, let's say you want to attack somebody, you have uh, particle energy for two. That's basically you're shooting like a particle beam out of your hand. Pinpoint means that you are accurate with it. So if you use particle energy and pinpoint, you roll four dice. Mental 
blast is a burst effect. You have three burst points. That means once you use them, they're gone until you regenerate it. Basically, you're adding you're adding an additional like blast from your from your brain. But it it basically does physical. It does some sort of damage, right? It's a it's a force based effect. Okay. So, oh, but can I use particle energy to uh, do what I just to do the wake up slap thing? Fly. So, why don't you just fly over, go into the water, and try to grab her? Yeah, that probably would be a better idea. I can probably yeah. bring her back, bring her back better. I've got spells for that. That and uh, take Solar Kiss over to Zira. Was it? You don't, you don't need to take her over to me. Take her over somewhere safe. I'll okay. just teleport there. Right. So uh, we have to resolve. I turn into a, I turn into a bat. Um, fly over to her, larger bat, and um, try to get her out of there. <laughs> a larger bat. <laughs> I, I cast bat. summon bigger fish. <laughs> There's always a bigger fish. There's always a bigger fish. <laughs> oh. Um... All right, so all actions happen at once. Everyone's doing their one thing. So, Tunis, as you are as you are picking up and flying across, um, your small batness gets lost in the sky, and no one sees you. So, no one shoots you. You enter the water where Solar Kiss is, and you're able to find her and grab her. Cannon, you were going to jump down and attack some people, right? Yep. Get fighting. Fight. Roll that. They see you jump down um, and they attack back, but I'm giving you sneak attack advantage, and that means you do your damage first. If that's enough to take them out, then they don't attack back at all. All right, so and as, he's jumping as down, our cannon's jumping down, uh, uh, Zira, as our cannon is jumping down, he distracts the people, um, the 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 um, soldiers that are taking that are taking control of that um, carry all, and you're able to get your spell off. However, there are some that are nearby that see you and attack you. Okay, I will. I guess I defend with my demon body. <laughs> Um, it's going to go against your resilience, so you might take a damage or something. Yeah, so and I can use my demon body to help with that defense, that resilience defense, oh. right? No? Yep. You just get hit. Okay. Fun times. All what right. am I rolling? I, did I get away scot-free? I'm not rolling? Yeah, you turn into a bat. You're too small to be seen. No one was really looking for you to shapeshift into a bat. So, um... Our cannon to roll your force. So roll all your force. All right. Would that be with the weapon I'm using? Thing, what's all your, I, I don't have all your character sheets in front of me. So what's your, um, your force plus everything listed under force? Oh, plus every, everything. Oh. Can you oh. please tell me what they are? Uh, that's force three, razor sharp one, electroshock two, and an intuitive one. And I also have the sneak attack power. So we're applying sneak attack. So we have double sneak attack. It doesn't matter. You have, you have lots of sneak attack. Big sneak attacks. Big sneak. Big sneak. <laughs> all right. And so then roll all of those. Use all of them. Until I, unless, so let's say you're hitting concrete man. The electricity wouldn't affect them. But you're fighting regular guys. So electricity can affect them. All right. So he's using razor sharp electro, uh, intuitive electroshock then? Yes. Because when he fights, that's what he's doing, right? Yeah, so he, he's taking his whips and electro whipping people. At the same time, he's got claws. He's reaching out. And by the way, all these guys are kind of spread out. A melee guy would normally be, only be able to attack one, but because he's got whips and long arms, like extended, extended, you're stretchy, right? Or something? Yeah, yeah I got rubber he's, like, he's like biopunk. Bio well, he's actually like clockwork, clockwork, clockwork punk. Man. Yeah. everything. All right, so you ended up getting, uh, looks like, three successes. And then I get, with the sneak attack, if they're surprised, I get a success. Oh, well, four successes. So I'm going to roll them. These guys are basically, uh, they're specialists. It's a three, it's a, we're going to call it a six-man team. 
So they get a total of five. Yep. All right, so they get three successes as well. Us on them. So you basically, you take a guy out, boom. Um, and you're able to dodge and from the rest of them. All right, Steve, uh, Zero, what'd you roll? Let's see. I rolled a four and a five for my resilience. <laughs> um, Not great. <laughs> magic spell and stuff too. It's enough. You're able to short out the the carry all or this this loader for basically a round. You know, it's enough. It's enough to stop it right. being pulled pulled away. Okay, but you also do get shot. Well, actually, wait. That wait, were you wanting me to roll my uh, magic? That was I thought I was rolling resilience for that. Sorry. Uh, so you only have to take that was one my resilience roll yeah. for defending against being attacked. I can roll, roll your other thing. Let me roll my magic real quick. I'll, I'm just gonna do four start magic to just try to like <laughs> obliterate, like just shut this thing down hardcore. Uh, so that'll be five to six. There we go. Hey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's basically it's it's done. You have a you have a a uh, machine lock on it basically. Nice. Just they they did um the the unit the members um like basically they have like heavy pistols uh -huh. and they, they do uh this other group near you turns and shoots right um you get hit for one damage oh no is that critical or is that brawling Brawl. Brawl. yeah okay Critical only happens once you lose all your brawl wounds or you take a really heavy hit. Okay. So it's the I'm paying attention to the white squares. White, right? Basically, the number of the, the, the wet, number of white uh, squares, not the yeah. black squares. Okay. Oh, oh, good. I was afraid I was pretty squishy. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's basically your resilience plus one is your, is your uh, number of wounds. down is so, your critical yeah so and, all right so yeah so i guess that's us we did our cool things <laughs> for the round. against our cannon here um our cannon, how many uh what did you get you got three six, oh they did roll against you okay yep all right cool so that's round one yeah, yeah, yeah. uh next round next round tell me what you're doing uh jinx is a bur jinx is burst so it's does that mean i can affect multiple pe people at once it, once it's used, it has to recharge. Well, I haven't used it yet, technically. Well, at least not. Recharging is like imagine if you had like a bunch of missiles, right? And you fire them all off. Yeah, I haven't I haven't used it in this combat at all yet. You'd have to like reload your missiles, so it just takes a little bit of time. Yeah, like I said, I haven't used it in this combat yet. Even if I did, even if I did, I still have one jinx point left. Oh, left. So it's fine. It's recharged. So, um. Can can that can that like allow me to hit like a whole like the whole group of guys who are shooting at me? I mean, yeah. All right. I'm going basically to... basically the way we're playing these is that there's like two groups of five guys. All right. So the guys who are shooting at me, I'm going to jinx their guns to j to all just jam on them, so that way I can get. All right. Get what happens if instead of, jam of jamming and completely, he causes them to hang fire? Oh, they miss, so, or do they risk looking down the barrels to see what's wrong? You know, I'm going to. Oh, right. So that's that's when these cinematics happen, right? So if he rolls just enough, he does he does what he says based on what I let him do, and then if he rolls a lot, I get him. I let him to get these cinematics. All right. Once again, dark magic, force. Okay. So you're. So what is this? Is this an overpower action? Yeah. This is this is going to be an overpower, overpower dark magic. So. Um. All right. Our cannon and. Neptune, Neptunus. So Evan, Evan, Will, where are yours? Where are you guys doing? Uh, is for, would first aid go under academics? Yeah, it should, shouldn't it? First aid, yeah. Okay. This is so, getting the water. Uh, I thought I already did that though. Under, so you can fly her out of the water. Yeah. The water. Do I have time to try any first aid in well, that one round? Now, or well, he's now a bigger bat. So he's 
<laughs> yeah. Um, so people might you, notice him. You could try to apply apply for a tour. Yeah. We'll do that. Knowledge. Yeah. And then uh, Arcanon, what are you doing? Um, so Arcanon's just fighting these people. He's just gonna, you know, of course, keep on fighting these people. He's gonna keep keep doing the dance, the deadly oh. dance of death. <laughs> This is, and so you're going to do an overpower, so uh, roll. I still probably need to do that, too, but I'll let him go for Oh, hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, oh, hi. You, uh, you're able to get um, Solar Kiss uh, breathing again. Out for this okay. fight. Okay. I probably... And then... Um, all right, Evan rolled, let's see, how many successes here? Uh, looks like one, two, three, four, five successes. That's pretty good. Um, and these guys are not surprised, so they're, gonna, they're, gonna, they're fighting you back. So they're a little easier to, to fight. Uh, they got two successes. So uh, five minus two is three. Um, the resilience is zero. So that means you can do a lot more damage. What's your, um, what are you here? So your force is three, the resilience is zero. So if you guys look on the mech chart, you can see how many wounds you can do. Uh, oh, the max effect chart. My force is three and there's zero times two. That means every single wound you do is times two. So you basically do six wounds to them and you wipe them out. Oh, oh. oh. that's several wounds. Wow, that's a big one. <laughs> um, and then Steve, you're working on this other group over there. Yeah, I'm, I'm going. To, I'm going to do. I'm going to jinx all their guns to just jam on them. With They're my, firing with my dark magic overpower. So. All right. Wow. They got. They did pretty good. So they got one, two, three, four successes. All right. Let me roll for this. Oh. <laughs> three successes. All right. So you get shot once. No. <laughs> Dark magic, why do you betray me? Um, I hear that. Uh, next round. All right, next round. Here, you you can just you have a like cone attack. I think you can just basically like. Yeah, that's that's my that's my new plan. It's just cone attack them with just a, probably just like a blast of like horrible darkness. The cone faces. attack it's going to reduce your dice by two because it's spreading out the damage. But these guys. They have resilience of zero, basically. They're just like, you know, they're like, they're like, you know, armed soldiers, but they're not magical. Yeah, this is, right? this is not going, magical. I'm, going, I'm just going to, I'm going to just blast them with a, uh, a demonic, just cloud of vile evil, evil to ravage their bodies. <laughs> or power them with some magic uh, that ravages their bodies. All right. And our cannon. I'm going to uh, use one of my gadgets to try and get back into stealth and overpower the group that he's attacking. You know, just join uh, in. So you want to take advantage of stealth. You want to overpower from stealth. And so the gadget gives you one automatic success, no matter what you're doing. All righty. No, to get back into stealth. Let me think about that. All right. And then, uh, Neptunus, what are you doing? Uh, can I shape shift into a ram, other particle energy into my horns, and then headbutt them right in the pinpoint? You absolutely can, or you could just just shoot them, <laughs> or you can fire. You can shoot them. <laughs> I don't know. This fire ram idea sounds. The, oh, no. Yeah, you can fire the part from your horns. This, this ram <laughs> particle getting ram. up to your ram mouth. You can turn into a Pretty cool. <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, head, uh, ram headbutting someone in the other head. It's like everyone's overpowering. So just everyone go ahead and roll. So my dice um, reduced by two. So they got two successes. So that means that they're all fighting you against two. So you subtract two from your rolls. Can I factor in my demonic will? Subtract two from your results. My okay. demon will in addition to the dark magic? Or is it just going to be dark magic? Demon will? Demon will. Yeah. Of course you can. Yeah, sure. All right, so that, that okay, so good. that's two for force, two for particle energy. Yay! For headbutting them in a sensitive area. Fifty-six. Oh, oh, oh! Ooh. Oh, that's good. Oh, particle ram, damn! Particle ram. Are you, 
You guys wipe them out. I just done several family lines there. <laughs> Felt throughout the generations. <laughs> that 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 headbutt will echo through time. <laughs> Um, you notice that the sergeant has uh, like 15 bodies like laying in front of him. He, he's taken out basically three units by himself. Wow, I, f- I feel I feel kind of I feel kind of lame by comparison. <laughs> Sergeant's so much cooler than us, <laughs> showing us. <up>. Um, <laughs> I'm um, a the submersible vessel. Um, comes out. The missiles streak up into the air and and come down on you. What's everyone doing? Um. Uh, well, do 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 we we got our attacks in right? A new round. Oh, it's a new round already. Jeez. I, okay. All right. Uh, I'm I'm just going full defense mode. I'm just throwing throwing everything up. I got I got my I got my magic shield, my demon body, my demon luck. Throwing it all in there, just trying to not get killed by a myth. And teleporting out there first, for good measure. Mm-hmm. Right? You're running away? Right. I'm going to use my I'm teleporting defense. over to, uh, I'm teleporting over to, uh, what's her name? Uh, Solar Kiss? Uh, and just yeah. shielding up. You're Solar shielding Kiss. Solar Kiss. All right. You're going to, well, you don't have to say who you're defending. You just say you're defending. You can yeah, choose how you use your defend. Yeah, it's one of the defender rules, so it's versatile enough. All right, uh, Arcanon. All right, I'm going to use the uh, Electro Whips, just use them as defend action to just smack up into the air. Okay, yeah, sure. I think sounds good. Just look at you. Like, yeah, I get your apart, the missiles. Now. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to be like Whiplash. Actually, an, inter- an intercept ability, too. It's kind of cool. Yep. Uh, you can also use your Unpredictable as well. Uh, yeah. No, you can't. You can't Unpredictable away. Uh, sorry, Arcanon. <laughs> Can't sub- can't catch the missiles by surprise. <laughs> can't yeah can't yeah unpredictableness doesn't work against missiles. So instead of getting a total of seven dice for your defense, you get a total of five. All right, and then um, um, Neptunus, what are you doing? Okay, I use my alien body and my shape shifting to turn into something slightly more missile resistant. Mental shield against uh. And missiles, or do is that just work against psionic abilities? You can use because it's a, you're using your mind to shield yourself, so you can use it. Now, some things might not you might not be able to use it sometimes. Like if someone's shoot, like a sniper shooting you, you don't know where the sniper is coming from. Yourself from that. I can use it against these missiles. Just throw in agility for good measure. I'm. Using my alien body to turn into a slightly more resilient ram, shielding myself and trying to fly out of there. And now you're all oh, blessed. Wow. Flying, flying ram, ram. flying you ram, run off into the starry skies. Your missiles are coming in, so That's I'm rolling. Ram jet. Everyone, make your rolls. Oh, I no. got four successes. That's, That's okay. The, no, the, the sixes don't count as double successes. They only count as single unless they're done by a true villain. Okay. So I the uh, two, four, five, seven. That is a five. That is six. Ooh. Two, three, four, Less than good. five. Five. Uh, everyone got at least four or more, correct? Yeah. Yep. Good job. Okay, the missiles come down. So the missiles come down, boom, 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 boom. They break up the docks. Rubble is thrown everywhere. You know, some of the vehicles are nearby. They're thrown up in the air. There's a big crater left. The the uh, carryall is completely destroyed, and the wooden crate around this uh, whatever it's carrying is also gone. Uh, you see a big black uh, orb-like thing. Aha. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yes. Um. What's everyone doing? Um, what is this orb? Grab the orb, I guess. Or it's it, big. It's like the size of an SUV. Oh, oh! Did the, the, the orb came out of the the crate, right? You said, or that's what was in there. That was what was in there. Okay. All right. I'm I also going, have that summary thing out there still. I'm going. I'm going. Oh, you know. Um, I'm going to cast summon bigger fish <laughs> to get <laughs> down the summary. <laughs> 
There's always a bigger fish. There's always a bigger fish. <laughs> I hate tacking, If you're tacking a big target, what you guys may want to do is think about who is the best able to damage the target and everyone else assists. Do you guys want to assist me in summoning a bigger... We can all work together to complete the ritual of summoning a bigger fish. Some special abilities, for example. He has a phase ability. Oh, he has phase? Oh, oh we, I know what we're doing. So am I just going in there and punching out the pilot then? No, 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 no. Here's here, Wait, who's got the phase... Who's got the phase ability? Is, does the sub have the phase Who ability? Has it. No, Neptunus has phase. Oh, dang. All right. I mean, water, electricity, you know. I mean, that's we true too. Going on that's here. True too. Hmm. I have phase one, so I can phase for moments after concentrating for minutes. Ooh, is that useful here? And a way to make it useful. All your everything is useful all the time. You just have to like tell me how you're using it. Can I? Oh, could I? Uh, can, can I, I go up? Someone else with me. Teleport. I have it in front of me, but I mean, it's not literally in front of me. Can I take someone else with me if I teleport? I don't know your level. Um, it bases on your level. Teleport yeah, two. You, I, yeah, I'm almost certain you can. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna teleport. I'm gonna teleport him over. And we're gonna help him by help him phase through and just beat the tar. At the way, can he? If he phases, can he take us with him through phasing? Does he? Well, okay, he doesn't have. He has partial phase. It's not a full phase. Oh, it's not a full phase. Okay. Um. All right. Here's the idea. We're gonna go over there. We're gonna we're gonna teleport over there, and then. Partial phase into the sub to just mess up the machinery, and we'll just beat the tar out of the sub. Yeah, hey, uh, couldn't the sub. wouldn't it be better to uh, teleport yourself and uh, our cannon? Wait, <laughs> are are you two waterproof? I'm fine. Zira, you can take you can take one person per level. So at level two, you can oh. take two people. With you. Oh yeah, you I can take two people with me. So I'm going to take them both over. We'll take them both over, uh, and then waterproof. Like, uh, we'll have. We'll assist, I guess we'll assist, I guess we'll assist, uh, 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 Neptunus. And in to, his lightning whips are going to... Phase, to phase through his, like, partial phase through the thing. Um, and just mess up the internals of the sub. Maybe he can, like, part, like, grab an electro whip or something and partial phase in just to get the, get that whip in or something like that. And just, like, electrocute the, the crap out of the internals of the sub. Sink that thing. <laughs> okay, that should. How does how does that work though? I need to concentrate for minutes. Would it be better right. to just help? Phase. Uh, at phase, at rank one, I can phase for moments after concentrating for minutes. That's. You know what? Let you're right. Let's just assist Arcana. Or, or cannon, and then we'll uh, <laughs> just like we'll rip open like the hull of the sub, so he can just like lash his electro whips down in there or something like that. All right, yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. I suppose knowledge, academics. I tell him where to hit. Uh, I think we could just even just brute force it. I don't know. Trying to figure out how my uh, assist would work. Maybe I could charge it with particle energy. Yeah, charge it with particle energy. I'm also going to use one of my utility gadgets for this. Okay. So that's yeah. You're, uh, you have what? Uh, you have two, so you have what, four total. So this is your third. Yep. What utility gadget are you using? Um, I just imagine just some auxiliary power thing to hook up to the whip to make it zap harder. Powered, like oh. oh. Over over bolt it. Make it really zap him right in the kisser. Yeah. Really zap. Really bring the thunder. I like your plan. Okay, so uh, so what's cool is if you actually have the leadership ability, if you make a plan, as long as you stick to the plan, people can draw dice out of a, out of a pool in the middle of the table. Oh. Uh, so oh. leaders are really kind of cool in this game. You can do a lot with them, and uh, you know all the powers are really meant to to help. Um, I'm going to add in for phase. I'm going to do an adjustment, Will, uh, because the the intent for phase, even at rank one, is that you can do it quickly. 
Like, so you can put your arm, even if it's just your arm, you can do it quickly. Now, you can't phase your whole body, but like. All right. All right. So. By that rules, but yeah. So that's, the assist, that's, we, just, we just throw our dice in, our, we just roll our assist and uh, do the thing. Your assist, you roll half your dice rounded down, and for every success, you give it to, uh, to the, uh, the person taking the, the, the primary action. All right. So uh, can I throw in resolve and demon will to my force, to my force assist? On just like pulling pull yeah. open the uh, pulling open the hole. I think so. All right. And should I throw dark magic in there too, or should I, like should I, should I just throw in everything, or probably? Okay, sweet. I know it's kind of weird. It's like this whole like a lot of games they don't want you to use your stuff, but this game does. This game wants you to use just everything use you everything. have. Yeah, well, right. your demon will. I think you already you already used your demon will. That's a burst. Oh, okay. You use your resolve and your dark magic, so you get a total of what seven? Yeah, so round down, I get six. I get, I mean, round down, I get three for assisting. So, Evan, do your thing. Here we go. All right, roll. Boom. Oh, lend me your power. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm the gonna... dark seductress is very weak, is very, okay, but not you are the teleport machine. <laughs> machine, so that's she's not very strong. She's very good at working with people, not, not brute force. <laughs> Oh. oh, okay. Wait. Okay, wait, that was entirely wrong. That was real bad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on Why right now. Why are you rolling 1d7? <laughs> what, does it, what, what even is a 1d7? It's a seven-sided dice. <laughs> As everybody uh, knows. Neptunus, roll, roll half your uh, force there. Half my particle energy force. Uh... You take force everything you have. Force plus particle energy plus what else do you have? Um, so I can throw it all in there and pour it into the energy web. Use yes. your mental blast yet. So you 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 have your force plus your particle energy plus you have pinpoint, and then you have mental blast. Now mental blast is a burst. If you haven't used it, you can throw your mental, mental burst in. Blast. Blast. My only my only attack so far has been particle energy right into the pinpoint. No problem. So yeah, you can use you can roll uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight divided by two would be four dice if you cool. want to use everything. So pour all that into the electro whip. See what you got. Right now we're at three successes, oh, and that makes it. We're up to four successes. Uh, could I use luck to reroll? Ten. Yeah. You no, know, I'm going to use I'm going to use luck to reroll as well because I rolled like garbage and I haven't used any luck so far. There Just we go. Hooey. Holy! <laughs> a little bit better there. Holy that's, that's... crap! <laughs> oh, so that's a... it looks like you guys got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten successes. Now they're gonna roll some two here though, and then oh. eleven with that. Uh, Come on, Mister Submarine, you can't top this. We're... You guys got a total of eight. Uh, no, I'm gonna give a double for that. So you got a total of seven successes. So that basically puts you at, at a triumph. Yeah. Uh, right. Cannon, you're the primary uh, action taker. Why don't you describe this triumph? Here? Describe this. Place. So you know, our cannon, he's diving up towards this machine. You know, plugging in that auxiliary power module. And, you know, yo, <laughs> <laughs> that Neptune guy, he's just really putting all of his like s spirit bomb energy right into that. Lift. <laughs> <laughs> he's letting me his power, and you know. At first, it seemed like Steven wasn't doing much, but no, he's doing some stuff there. <laughs> he's doing some stuff. <laughs> pulls, and up, the whip pulls just... up one panel, just slightly bends it up, just enough to snake a whip in there. <laughs> the whip just snakes right on in. <laughs> Getting in the slot. Like, just like straight into like the Death Star power thing. There you go. So the um... And is it about... Is it about now that we start wondering if we're waterproof? No, this is about now mm. that we start wondering if we're shockproof because we're standing on a metal you submarine. Shape shift in uh into a uh, fish or something, you'll be fine. Turn into an eel. Turn into um, a lacrimose leech. I think does does uh so let's see here. Make sure you're saltwater fish. <laughs> Some quirks that let, fresh water that fish that let you like survive in, in the harsh environments. So let's see. Our cannon I thought had one. I can go into stasis where I just stop. Stasis, yep. Um, 
Okay, so torn up pretty good. Water starts rushing in. It cracks. Um, people are screaming and hollering. They're running. They're trying to like grab onto you to like get out. What, what do you guys do? I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> okay. You you can. Uh, so our cannon starts to basically rubberize out. You know. You hear like click, 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 crack, crack, and then you just hear whoosh, whoosh, and then just blood everywhere. Oh, uh, with... <laughs> He's just grab whichever of the nearby henchman looks lightest. Statistically, that's probably a woman, and uh, just get out strong. of there. I you guess like you're plenty. You can. You're pr you're plenty strong. Your force is too uh, like Captain America. They're probably both women. Man. I, I'm, go I'm going to anyone who survives Arkanen's just murderous rampage. I'm just going to uh, attempt to just like seduce with a little bit of like mes like some sort of like sort of mesmerizing spell of some sort, just to be like bend to my will, <laughs> surrender yourselves to me. Look, I'm not taking survivors. <laughs> Jesus. That's... Arkanen, like, this is not gonna be, Arkanen stop. <laughs> this isn't going to be a messy, like, we let them go and they go and form the big bad guy. This is... Right. This is ending right. here. Arkanen, how... How... Uh, how... Are you on slaughtering the... Uh, the, uh, the... 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 Crew of this vessel? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? The mic was cutting out. Watering the crew of this vessel. Um, I mean, he's he's going for it. He's going for it. <laughs> roll your luck pool, like your your luck pool. Uh, so roll luck. Not what you have left, but your total luck. Yes. There you, we go. Yeah, you um you are in there and. You're killing people. You see a guy who's like, he's frightened. He's like crying for his mother. And you just, at the time, a panel right next to you explodes and you take a point of damage. Oh, no. <laughs> so is that one of those wounds? Yeah. So it's the black ones, not the white ones that um, I have? No, you have the white ones, not the black ones. Okay, that's... Makes a lot Comforting. more sense now, doesn't it? Resilience, yeah. it's your your resilience plus one. So you should have four you should have four um wound bra wounds and two critical wounds. Alright. Arkanen's just kind of disturbing. Okay. Um at this point in at this point in time, you um you come back out maybe a little wet with blood drivers like Flashing and flashing in the water, dead bodies. Uh, it's dark. Very dead bodies. Color of the water, but you kind of consume what the color would be. Um, <clears throat> you're able to get back up on the docks, it's basically as the sh uh, vessel explodes and sinks. Cool. Okay, you I see... turn to the two survivors I saved and say, "Okay, that's where you'd be right now if you if you kept with super villainy, and that's where you're going if you keep it up." Are we clear? Like they're like, yeah, yeah. They shake their heads, like, yeah, no, thank, that's, thank you, and they just start like running. No, 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 no. We're just gonna grab. I would like to stop. Them. I'm between, I move so that I'm between them and our cannon. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab them both before right they hands. run away. I'm just gonna be like, no, 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 no. You've got some Zira. questions to answer. Zero. You feel. You feel weird. No. Oh. Do I feel weird? Weird. You feel as if a presence, powerful presence, is uh, um, um. Oh, hey! You back. notice has doubled over. Who's doubled over? And fuck, fuck, fuck. He's on his. Well, he's not doubled over. He's on his knees, and his head. He's holding his head, and like wincing with pain and blood's coming out of his eyes. Not like just squirting, but just like some blood tears. Who is? The guy who didn't get uh, KO'd in the first round. Oh. oh, the soldier. Oh, Sergeant. Sergeant. I'm going to teleport sergeant. over to Sergeant. 
I mean, like, hey, what's happening? What's going on? What is As dark presence? <laughs> broken broken like english like he's really struggling to maintain conscious he's like i don't know how much longer i can hold it off for it's so powerful uh i'm going to cast a healing spell on him to try to give him like have fix him up a little bit stabilize him a little bit but it's still a major struggle there's not really a whole lot you're going to do at this point in time All right. you're also a little confused um so you did that. Okay, so that was your interact action. Um, so Arcanon and um, Neptunus, what are you guys? What are you two doing? So are they the other two still like the two people he saved still up here? Well, they start running. I mean, I'm, I'm still between you and them. Hey, come on, let's just dispose of these two and move the ball. Be gone. I don't know why you're bothering. Just, we have a mission. Let's just complete it. All right, I'm going to look around. I'm looking around for the source of this mysterious force. All right, so at the top of the um, at the top of the pod, you notice that th this cell, and as you look at it closer, it's a it's a it's a dark iron, almost like painted black iron. Um, that is riveted together, super heavy rivets, mm -hmm. and and um, top of it, that's leaking a like a like a magical like, and it starts to get heavier and heavier and stronger and stronger. Um, part of the top of the pod appears to have been launched out, basically blasted out, probably by that rocket barrage that came in. Uh -oh. Oh wait, the thing we were trying to transport is getting out? Yep. Don't worry, guys. Don't okay, I, I point to that and say, okay, now do you see that we have bigger problems than those two moop things running out? Anyway. That's what I was just telling you. Don't worry, I got a plan, guys. If you had to listen. Don't let's worry, boys, let's huh? go over there, then. I have a plan, boys. Don't worry. At this point in time, the, at this point in time, the, um, the chamber just completely shatters. Okay. Tiny, you know, fist-sized bits of like iron out in all directions. Um, you guys are all allowed to take an auxiliary resilience action or a defend action using resilience to not take damage. You need three successes. All right. Um, demon body. So, would I be able to use lash defense and unpredictable? Dang it. Cannot use unpredict you cannot use unpredictable. You can use slash defense, yes. All righty. I don't think that's a success. I'm guessing fours don't count as successes. Equal one success. So you got two successes. So uh, zero, you take one damage. Dang. That's one success for me. Ah! Uh, Ow! Cannon, you take one. I just got, can I use I just alien got body and, uh, Can I use alien body to uh, kind of phase through the things? Just got this. I, got, I just got this outfit fixed. Two, four, and agility I to uh, agility to make sure I have, I have to phase few th uh, phase through as, many, as few as possible. And you can use your resilience, your alien body, your agility. So you can use all that. Damn it! Oh, I get damage too. So you guys all get hit. Ow! All right, I have a plan, guys. Uh, what comes out of the thing? In front of you is a very large uh, demon. You would oh. recognize Thera as a demon. It has four legs, like a centaur, okay. uh, but the, um, and large wings on its back. It has two large hands with, uh, with uh, claws. Uh, sinister looking eyes and um, a head with horns that roll back. It coalesces into a form from the smoke and it's very large. Hi, you here for the cosplay convention? That's not till next week. All right. Before it even gets a chance to do anything, I'm teleporting behind it and, and using uh, 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 Power Vampire 
on it. Nothing personnel, kid. Nothing personnel, kid. <laughs> right. Um, would anyone like to assist Zira? Yeah, might might want to do that because then we could go. Ooh, good uh, can uh, I distract? Can I distract it with that dumbass one liner I just pulled? Can I also distract it with my whips? <laughs> with a whip, a, di- a sexy whip dance. <laughs> Quirk card parlay, and that literally lets you do exactly what you just said, but your characters don't have it. So you could still distract, but not like with parlay. Parlay literally says um, it, you converse with something for, and for a moments of time, they're, they're completely distracted. All right. <clears throat> so I'm just going to like assist with the whip. Just... Do, do a sexy whip dance. I'm sure that'll be a very good distraction. <laughs> It's like yeah. for power base, your assist can be it can be whatever, you know, to distract them or whatever. Okay, I'm gonna roll to uh try and come up with a one liner that breaks its brain and makes it focus on me. Alright. Uh so oh, it's a burst. It's gonna as you're assisting, you roll half your dice rounding down. Alright. One D six. This is gonna be a straight up forceful thing just to steal its powers from it. Um it says it operates as a burst, so I could use Demon Will in there. And did you use Demon Burst earlier? I, I probably, I probably did. So I guess it's just Force. Charge yet? Yeah. Okay. If you can convince me that somehow it's regenerated, uh, you can use it again. Well, you know what? Yes, I, I, I will. I, uh, I will say that. Um, ha- seeing another demon from the realm that I came from and having a dis. I think that's in your bad story. It just having a complete despite dis what would the word be? Distaste Angry. for distaste and disgust for the demon the creatures of that realm. Uh Real she of the regained her willpower to fight to continue fighting. Her demonic willpower to continue fighting and her resolve to destroy destroy this thing. I don't really buy it, but I'll let you it's one dice, I'll let you use it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it's, it's willpower. It's like... Alright, let's see. 4d6. And at least I've got some... Oh, yeah. That's Oof. that's bad. Evan, did you roll half your dice on this, Evan? Or did you roll? I rolled uh, half the dice for the force. Good. So Evan got you two successes. Your, 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 your assisters are assisting like crazy. <laughs> I think I got one okay. success for him. Did you roll at all, Will? Yeah, the one d six. Oh, you roll one d six. That's one th- success. That's yeah. three successes that's total. Right, Steve, you're gonna re-roll that, or? You no, know, I'm gonna use a luck to re-roll that because that was embarrassing. I do have one. That is, this will be my last luck though. So, come on. <laughs> hey, that's one more success. So that's four successes. He got a total of two. That means you got two successes. Uh, That's power a vampire advantage. Is That's advantage. Trying to get it off. Yeah. But advantages usually happen after. Uh, and it says that if I do it within that, if I do it with, when in contact with the target for moments, the hero gains one chosen power at rank two. So. Yeah. Let's see. So it gains the power. What's the target? Loses the power. Mm-hmm. Sharple is stolen. The power works as a burst effect. The hero cannot take more ranks. All right, so this is kind of this would be a little hard because I'd have to list all the powers and stuff. But um, I'm just going to give you the power you get. Where are some of the highlights? <laughs> right. So you would get um, probably the one you'd want is barrage. Yeah. Oh, so he can shoot a laser beam out of his eyes. So you can do it once per turn. So he has barrage of um, three. Yeah, I'm gonna steal that. I'm gonna steal that at rank two. I can only steal it at rank two, but I can steal that away from him entirely. Does he still yeah. have? Does he still have it at rank one or? No, I just get. He just loses it entirely according to this, and I get it at rank two. I'm gonna pay, copy and paste it into the uh, thing here so you can see what it does. Okay, that would be great. Let's see. So I'll be able to just blast lasers out my eyes at him. Like a super cool guy. 
Yeah. Okay, so you guys got that off. Um, I did give him some like awareness to see if he was there, so he was able to try to like move away from you a little bit before he completely formed, but um, he wasn't able to, so you're able to get that off. Ooh. Right. Um, um, give you a ch chance to finish reading that, and then uh... nothing personnel, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Amateur. <laughs> right. Okay. okay. So, cool. what's everyone doing? Well, uh, it's your boy. You know me. I'm gonna go in for uh, an overpower with. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna charge him with particle energy again. Powering two, and then uh, zero. Uh, barrage. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do my laser eye barrage at him. So just... The barrage is you can do barrage as, in, as in, dice, uh, 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 As see, it says an auxiliary overpower action. Okay. It's like an extra attack. It's like an extra action. Oh, it's an extra action. attack. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm just auxiliary. gonna. I guess I'm just gonna blast him with uh, dark magic then. Just. <laughs> Okay. Um, get right. like so a everyone... fireball or something. Just blow, blast him with a fireball. Um, and I'm sorry, um, Neptunus, you said you were going to assist or not? Uh, I'm going to assist uh, whichever of them is rolling the higher and more dice for their base attack. Where, where, are you th where are you slinging around, Evan? Oh, you know, I'm slinging around those whips. <laughs> Okay, you know, I'm just gonna actually, I'm going, I'm going to assist Evan, and then I'll do a barrage. Uh, after that, if that's Evan. what I can do, I can do that thing. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, I will assist with a little bit, a little bit, a bit of. <laughs> Hey, that's a lot of d6. That's a lot of sixes. That is a lot of sixes. Oh. Oh no. Huh. Hey, at least you got. Uh, we did. We did pretty good. Yeah. Oh. That guy one. Got seven. We got five, one, two, three, six. We got six. All right. Take a damage. Oh no! Oh no! I've I've only got one of those left. Are you using the black squares or the white ones? Remember that it's the white ones. I only have several. Just be looking at brawl, not crit. All right, and here comes the barrage. All right. Oh, lasers. Laser eyes. Answer. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> that's one damage, success. So he takes he takes one damage. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, does this uh, does this fall into the thing that would give Steve an automatic success? She is um. I mean, she is a demon. Four missiles or four laser beams out of his eyes. She's bas she stole a demon power from a demon, so I don't think so though. It's not something that she has personally. Yeah. Yeah. Automatic successes usually don't, they sometimes don't work well. Like a, um, an opposed action. Sometimes they don't come into play, really. So. All right. Because the other guy gets it too. So it's, I'd have to give it to everybody. It's like, I'm fighting like I would fight. You're fighting like you would fight. See what I mean? So. Yeah, it, it would be pointless. It would all just um, each other out. So the problem is, this attack that he attacks back with puts out a large dark miasma from from um, his nose, oh, and no. yeah, and you actually, uh, Arcanon, you actually have to reel back from the attack because of you're breathing in this like this like gas. Do I breathe? Um, yeah, here's. Into into your gears. Let's put it that way. Yeah, at least uh, we got the barrage away from him. Uh. Okay. 
Let's do this. All right, who's making the attack this time? I'm, I'm going to assist again. I'm going to try to power up. I'm going to try to power up Evan. Um. Okay. You can do this, Evan. I believe in you. I do have that okay, one. Okay, I focus breath. more particle energy into Evan's whip. I'm gonna go go gadget again. Go go gadget. Remember, you get that automatic success from the gadget. Yep, and then I'm gonna whip him again. Oh, hey, I actually contributed this time. And so he will. We gave him seven. Right. That's eight with the uh, automatic success. Eight. He got one. Three. All right, cool. You got three on him. So you're able to do one damage to him because, you're, uh, Evan, your force is three. His resilience is four. So one of the successes is applied as damage. So now he's taking two damage. And now you have two overkill actions, which gives you an advantage. So you can... Oh, I have overkill too? Hmm? I have an overkill too? Yeah. So even though you do three damage, because the force and resilience are very similar, you can only take one of your three successes, or one of your yeah, one of your three successes, and apply that as damage, as per the the mech chart. All right. Well, you have two overkills, which gives you an advantage. You can do something with that. All right. I'm going to use the my entangle power to like wrap the whips around him. Yeah. I like that. I do too. Hello. Oh, um, you, you tangle him up and you're just trying to make it so he can't attack or yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Or maybe so he can't defend just try and get the get the wrists in general with these whips so for one round he is he is unable to use his full force to attack okay all right are you gonna let's continue assisting let's keep, let's keep this let's keep this train rolling we're we're, get, we're pushing the advantage. I think we can do this, guys. All right. I'm here for the next, uh, uh, for the next attack. Once again, assisting Evan. All right. I'm also, I am guess I'm just going to, like, lash these whips that are around his arms and just try to, like... Pump them full of electricity. Pump One thing is that the miasma the is getting larger, and you're having trouble keeping away from it now. It's sort of spreading out from them. Uh-oh. Everything is okay. Let's just do this. One, one more go. <laughs> one more whiff. Big whips. Nice. Well, now? All right. You gave one. Oh. We got four. So here's two. Right. Two. Um, he got three. So um, you get one success on him, so you do another damage. Nice. So he was basically flat out defending. Uh, but because the miasma is spread even further, uh, Evan, you take a damage from um, sucking in that nasty stuff. Oh, God, I got to stop sucking. <laughs> Don't suck, Evan. All right, I'm going to... For my next thing, instead of assisting Evan this time, I'm going to try to cast a spell to clear the miasma. Just, like, clear the air. Clean air. Breathe. <laughs> Breathe. Doing that. Mr. Clean. Let's think through this tactically, right? You're doing that. Evan's kind of getting hurt here, right? He's been pummeling. Yeah. So maybe someone should jump in and defend Evan. That's all, that's all you, Will. Uh, so what am I doing? Am I uh, turning into a gas mask? Just def defend him. Gas <laughs> mask. <laughs> no, you just turn into a bubble for him. So he can just... Turn into a bubble. <laughs> All right, I turn Make into a, a bubble boy. Bubble. My weird alien body to uh, 
shape myself like a bubble and uh, <laughs> envelop <laughs> this guy. <laughs> that works, shall we? So uh, he comes back at you guys, so uh, roll ahead and roll up your uh, stuff. All right. Uh, this one's going to be a knowledge, I think. Knowledge of right. my magic. I'm Here, I'll, let you, I'll let it be a universal. So you can use whatever you want. All right, I'm just going to use it all then. <laughs> I'm going to defend Try myself to justify as well. It. Well, there is no way to, to justify it other than magic because I'm trying to dispel. I don't, I don't think I'm trying to guile or seduce them through my asthma cloud. <laughs> so, right, you're not trying to do that. No, that doesn't make sense. So we're just going to go with the, just the magic. Hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Come out. Uh, um, Zira. So, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, that's what I was doing. I said I was using my... I was using my knowledge of magic to try to spell the uh, the miasma cloud, or at least cast a spell that can clear the air for us. Here is a gross cloud. Uh, I'm gonna turn on my heels a bit and defend myself. This action. That's not. Yeah. I threw another. I was doing defend too for all the good that did. Maybe you can do it. Maybe count it as an assist instead. Will one of the threes in the one? Um, one of the five. The so, five in the one. So, Will, you should have rolled at least five dice because your resilience is two. You have an alien body of two and an agility of one, so that's five. And if you haven't used your mental shield, you could add a mental shield as well. I think I used that to block the missiles. But you can still at least roll one more die. 1d6. No, damn it. 1d6. Anyway. Oh, no. Okay, you didn't get the extra four. All right, that's worth it, though. All right. All right, let's see. So the bad guy's got one, two, three. Um, I see five from the bad guy. And I also have five. five. It's five. There's three fives. That's three plus the two fours. He's got six. Guy equals six. All right. So it's like every two fours count as a success? I'm kind of unclear of how the success system works. Fours is a success. A five is a success. And two and a six is two successes. So four fives. Don't have two sixes. fours, so. So four fives and all four fives and sixes all count. Now, mooks or non-heroic villains don't count sixes as two successes, but this guy is pretty heroic. Right. All right. So, Atunis, you move in to defend against uh, this attack. Basically, just get pummeled. Uh, <laughs> it's not. Well, it's not that bad. Um, All right, so you have a resilience, resilience of two. He has a, so that means that uh, of these six successes, two are used to cause damage to you. So you take two brawl damage. Rough. So I take the damage uh, rather than Ar and, uh, Arcanus? After you take the two damage, now because, because you defended, four damage, four overkill would go to um, Evan, but because you defended, only half go over. So that um, that six six so um, six minus two would be four minus would be two. And you are right. struck. You are struck by two. As oh, but and then and then you. How many successes did you get? I got five successes. No, successes I'm, seeing, uh, I'm seeing a six five 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 four and the six. So, um, actually. Um, yeah, so um, if he got six successes, then those two that carry over mean that, Evan, you have, you have four successes. Now, it's a defend action, so you can't do damage to him, but you can, you can take um, an, a, an advantage. You have actually a major advantage against the, the demon. 
Nice. Oh, use that, man. I am going to use that major advantage. Counterattack. I'm going to counterattack. And, you know... Um, I won't give you... You can't get an auxiliary action, but you can... You can do something to him, or you could, you know, do something based on the environment. Um, Throw him in the water. Throw him in the water. Just, like, push through his attack and then just... Like just like shoulder tackle him into the water. We're still very close to the pier, if I recall correctly. They're like trying, um, they're trying to shuffle him into into the sub. The pier's pretty damaged anyway. Couldn't he just knock the ground out from under him? That's true too. Well, isn't the ground concrete? I don't know. You said there are vehicles nearby, right? You could trade in the four successes for one damage because there is there is a rule that says four. Um, a greater advantage lets you get one more damage. Uh, you said there's cars around, right? Yeah, like vehicles, you know, things like that. Not necessarily. Uh, yeah, maybe some cars. Maybe like a. Could I grab on one of those cars? And throw I'm sorry. At him? Could I just try to like grab onto one of those cars and throw them at him? Throw it at him with that uh, success, or like rip off a door. Sure. Yeah. All right. Would that be right, so force? You just, you just happens. So you oh. rip off a door, you throw it at him, and what do you want to have come out of this door being thrown at him? I want him to knock him closer to the edge of the pier. Okay, you do that. He stumbles. Uh, you hit him in like his knee, and he screams, and he stumbles uh, towards the... Um... Okay. All right. That's... Um, I have a feeling I, like I know where this is going. So I'm going to try to jinx this guy to like turn, get a turnaround on whatever the next next thing, good thing that he or bad thing that happens to us, good thing that happens to him is to try to try to get give us the uh, n that last push we need to take this guy down. Some kind of a dice to throw into these things. So, what do you guys want to do? Uh, uh, all right, I'm gonna give this one to uh, Neptunus. Tim. Yeah, charge. Uh, maybe Could another I... ramjet. Just like Steven throw, throw a rocket on his butt, charging him with a for the ram attack. I can't. I can't hear William here. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, well, sorry. What's that? Charge zero with particle energy to make her next spell more powerful. Generally, an assist. Yeah. So, if you want to assist zero, you can. Well, I guess I'm not assisting William no, 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 then. No, 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 Don't, don't assist me. Uh, you do your thing. Have Evan assist you. I'm going to try to turn around in case it goes, in case it goes badly. Well, uh, could I, could I, I realize that this is uh, going pretty well and. Uh, Try to force my mental blast to work, despite the fact that I've already used used it. Sure. I'm going to assist them. Mental blast charged with particle energy, and uh, I try to pinpoint it for whatever on that demon looks like. It makes more demons. He's got a he's got a head. Or oh, more demons. All right. <laughs> There might there might be several of those. No. Uh, oh, oh no. <laughs> That's horrifying. <laughs> All right. Um. Uh, zero. What, are you doing? what is this? Four, an echidna? Five. Okay. So eight d six to uh, remove one of the demons. Uh, and uh, zero is trying to jinx the demon. Jinxing zero. Yeah, I'm is that gonna overpower? I'm gonna jinx the demon in case it, he ends up turning this around into like something insane. Yeah, no problem. This time instead Mental of swiping with his claws and stuff, he rears back and breathes out um, a cone of demon bees. Demon bees. Demon bees. Oh god, no. it's even worse than regular bees. Okay, so I try to blast it backwards, aiming specifically at uh, one of its ding dongs. Okay. 
That was... Mm. Alright, and this is the assist for William. Let's hope it's good. It's alright. That's three more. Uh, two. Okay, so... Will, you got one, two, three. So good guys got five. And then Steve... Uh, you got two successes on the jinx. Uh, One success. Um, and then the demon's got... Seven. Four. Five, six. Demon's got six. Oh, six? Five. The two fives, it counts two, and then the two what, sixes counts four. There's the, only one what four. What about the four, though? Would Sucker Punch be able to be used? In so did you guys tie your successes? Um, did we? I got got demon. Six. So that's six, and then... Two. Uh... Did we get six or seven? Well, uh, one, two, if the fours three. Count, if the fours count, then we got seven. And if the you fours don't, count, then you we don't... also got seven. So, Steve, if you roll a four and Will rolls a four, those two don't come together as. Okay, one. So. Three, four. Total four for me. Uh, Will, you got three. The five is a success. The two fours is one success, and oh, the five and the five okay. is a success. Oh, so that's three. Success. Um, Evan. Two more from Evan, so that's six. So we tied. Yeah, Sucker punch. Tie. It's a push, which means nothing happens. You fight off the bees. You burn them out. You magic them out, and at the same time, the bees push you back, so you don't damage him. But. Um, Which means that he can roll one die, and if it's a success, he can cause damage. Nice. All right. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh. Well, that was sad. <laughs> Why? All right. Um, kind of beat up. Another good hit would probably just take him out. I'm, uh, yeah. I'm going I'm to say we all just put it into Will to just ram this guy off the friggin' pier. Will, you're going to be the big damn hero, right? Be the big this damn is, hero. I think, that's the plan. I think this is it. So there's something I haven't told you about, guys. So underneath um, your attacks, you, there's something that says um, Fury. Fury. That Fury? Yeah. Like, yeah. into my sweet oh. touch. All Fury, fours count as one success. Oh. So each four you roll is one success. And uh, when you do it, you actually have to say the, the fury. Do it. Just say, I do not think. The Neptunus is, is, I do not think so. I think uh, our cannons is more situationally appropriate. Uh, we just charge him and he says, you will yield and hits the demon really hard. Yeah, I like that. All right. So what, are we throwing me in and me yeah, in there? We're throwing you in. We're throwing in our ace in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> you will yield. <laughs> and then you know you just go in for the electro zap. Two d six. Is my two? Oh, the power of friendship. The power of friendship. <laughs> Maybe not the friendship of Steven, but maybe <laughs> William's friendship. <laughs> no, William's friendship doesn't have anything for you either. Do I still get right. to you? Wow. Do I still get to use I'm the force? Use had anything. I'm going to use my last luck. To Hold on. No, if you're using your fury, the threes and fours counts as success. So that would be one, two, three, four, four successes. I'm still going to reroll that with uh, my last luck. Yeah, that was kind of garbage. All right, and then you guys are assisting. Um, so if you're assisting, roll half your pool. I already did. That's garbage. Neither of us got anything. No, William got two. He got the three and the four. Oh, if you're using your fury, it's up to you. Three, four, Close. five, six. All right, so Evan, you got six. Um, and the bad guy got four. Yeah. Two, three, four. Five, six, yeah. So yeah, you hit him. Maybe I come in. Maybe uh, Evan's about to Evan's about to buckle, and then I say, "I do not think so," and charge him with particle energy. 
Yeah, that worked. I do not think so. <laughs> you, hit the, you hit the demon back, um, and uh, you push him back over into the uh, into the water. He tries to um, hammer back up. He tries to grab. He grabs the side of the dock, but he just breaks a piece of the concrete off and falls into the water. Um, this time he struggles. Looks like he's having trouble swimming. Solar kiss. You know, she sort of wakes up, and then um, she sees what's going on. She sees the, the devil in the water, and she just heats up the water and boils it, and boils the demon. Everybody knows devils can't swim. <laughs> They're one weakness. You gotta... So, you guys did some stuff. Uh, um, is there anything you, you want to kind of finalize on and talk about the game at all? Or Well, uh, that was fun. That was pretty cool. That's something that I definitely want to play with some people. I know. I feel like some like a little bit. I think it definitely would would feel good. I think it would be definitely interesting a longer term longer term thing. Like it's fine for one shot, but getting getting the chance to sort of like unpack and improve your hero and over time just feels like it would definitely really make it shine a little bit. Yeah, I can definitely see, like gets its appeal with uh, just being able to be the big damn heroes. Also being able to really yeah. customize your heroes to how you want them. Yeah, that looks like go a... through long like go through the long maths of units of masterminds or having like the overly simplistic things of other systems. Yeah, it's, I like you the do, idea of do just... your one thing, the GM just sort of says, okay, it's based on this order. And if you're a fast guy, you're almost always going to go first, right? That, that kind of thing. Yeah. So, um, you know, you just, you can do more, but you can still apply a lot of your special stuff out of it. Yeah, like, it just seems like one of those systems where I like the, just being able to explain what you want to do and uh, then yeah. applying it if it makes sense. Yeah, exactly. That too. I was able to get in a lot of nut shots. It, you're able, you're you're able to explain and and apply what you want to do without it turning into like fate's thing of just like basically just bullshitting to the GM why you should be able to do it. Yes, you know, and what happens is like, for example, if you guys are all you had some you had some ranged ranged combat people, but imagine if you're all like arcane and you don't really have range and you're fighting against a bad guy that has range. With it right, and, and that's kind of how the game works. It's supposed to really replicate the the comic and the, that sort of like cartoony feel of like watching superheroes do their thing. Yeah. Like the entire time I was playing, I was kind of thinking of it of it as a comic strip. Yeah, a little bit. And also, there's a couple things we didn't do. We didn't really go over uh, friendship wins. One of those is countering. Friendship. For example, if you are successful in an action, pulls action to do another action next turn. Like so, for example, if you play defensive hero, you the next and you succeed in a defensive maneuver, the next the next action you do in the next round, you can use defense as an overpower. So you can actually treat your as an attack. So it's almost oh. like turtling up and then bursting out and like causing some damage. That's that's really good because um, it's the same thing. Like if it if it, I'm more like, you know, you need that. So Evan was attacking. Evan was taking the damage, right? He was doing the my he he was getting whittled by the miasma. Then William steps in. William does the uh, the defense, right? So if he had used his counter, he could use a better stat pool to actually get that defense off. Right. <laughs> Are we just gonna completely ignore the fact that one of our teammates is a demon and therefore apparently sucks? Yeah. Why? Why would you say that to me, Arkanen? Are you you racist? <laughs> but except Zira, uh, except Zira. <laughs> except Zira. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so. You're absolutely right, Steve. I we we really ran through a big campaign for this game, and uh, when you get some sessions in five, ten sessions, you really start to like leveling, but just about being able to get more of what your hero can do out. 
Right. And yeah. that's working. Yeah. And the teamwork really helps. Like, hey, I'm good at seducing. You're good at hacking. Let's put let's work together and make this happen. You know. Here, I'm gonna seduce this nerd. You <laughs> go hack the computer. <laughs> notoriously easy. Oh, hey. So, uh, how did that end? Are we uh, full members, or are they upset that the demon escaped and subsequently died? So, um, the the league isn't stupid, right? Um, sorry, a cannon. You're not. You're you. No. I mean, that's fair. I'm I'm working for the highest bidder. Okay, right. you are the worst. <laughs> I fought for the. I fought for the Nazis. Oh God! <laughs> with your thing. <laughs> so Tampered with your thing. You end up ripping people up. You know, people are dying. You're just like, haha! I'm gonna kill you even more. As soon as you are inducted as a junior member, you saved uh, Solar Kiss and uh, you've proven your your uh, loyalty to your friends by doing your defensive maneuvers. Yep, Give put our cannon over here. Best friends. <laughs> and Zira, you are also invited to become an, an like a like a full time affiliate. Yay! So yeah, um, Kickstarter soon. Um, now this is the video is the last piece of the Kickstarter I was waiting for, and uh, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it, had some fun with it, and um, appreciate you guys trying this out. I know it's always hard to learn a game, especially over over uh, the internet. Yep, and yeah. I'm, gl I'm glad that we were able to come and run this for us, Jeff. I hope you join us in future videos, maybe as a player or as a GM, maybe running some of your, some of your other stuff. And I hope all of you who are watching this, if there are any, um, <laughs> come and join us for more of these. We would love... <laughs> her, her too. <laughs> Not a super... <laughs> 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 the unfolding drama of the aftermath of the graffiti on the playboard. <laughs> anyway, I hope all of you watching come in. Uh, uh, if there's any, come and watch more of these. We're going to be getting more developers on to run their games for us to show off more of these cool systems that are out there. Um, in the meantime, keep keep up with the... We also got the campaigns going. We'll also be having some of our uh, players might be running some games just to for funsies, just to sort of check out various systems. Uh, so keep on, keep on rolling. Keep on coming back and watching. Like and subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Twitch. Uh, and thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.